Today I have a very special review for you all today and hello fellow book questers it is I Aaron the book quester and today I got this great book Kumiyo Shikdang by Park Hyun Suk and well let's get right on to it. So you're probably wondering what in the world why are you doing a Korean book? So basically I was just really inspired by this particular Korean book and I wanted to talk about it in English. And if there isn't really an English published version of it, but if you're a Korean, I would definitely recommend you to read it. So, first off, what does Kumiho mean? Kumiho is a nine tailed fox from Korean folklore. And basically, they steal organs, they're evil, they're basically some sort of malevolent spirit that can shape shift and have magical powers. There's one on the moon right there. And I guess they're kind of like a hybrid of, I don't know, kind of like a vampire slash werewolf type thing it's basically a it's it's a it's a fox that lives a hundred years and now they're they're basically all powerful and shape-shifting and it has evil powers but anyway the main character Toyong, and this this guy literally call who calls who call who is called ajashi which basically just means that guy or mister i guess basically they died they died they died, and they're on their way to cross the river to the realm of the dead. And then, this Kumiho named Soho basically basically approaches them and says, So, I can, if you give me a gulp of warm blood from your veins, I can let you stay in the mortal realm, finish up unfinished business for 49 years days. Amazing, right? And so, Toyoung, who literally has nothing to go back for because she's an orphan and she's abused by her, his brother and his, sorry I said her, his brother and his grandmother, he doesn't really want to go back. But Mr., he literally calls him Mr., although he does have a name, Mr., he wants to go back, he has some unfinished business, and so he just kind of pulls Toyoung into it, and together they go to the mortal realm. However, of course, there is a twist. They need to stay in a restaurant that is called Kumiyo Shikdan, which basically just means Nine Tailed Fox Restaurant. And they have to stay in there, and if they go out, they get incredible pain. And meanwhile, Ajashi, or, you know, our mister, he's very, very, very mad because he wants to meet someone, but that someone he needs to go find, and he kind of, he's, that person not going to come to him if, if he's in a restaurant. And then he starts, basically, he basically makes a plan. He's going to cook, and he's going to, he, he's a very famous chef when he was, well, you know, he wasn't dead. And he, he's going to make food that that person that he wants to meet really, really liked. And he was pretty much the only one who, who could make that dish. And therefore, if people talked about it a lot, she would probably end up here at, well, at Kumiyo Shikta or Kumiyo Restaurant. And that's the plan. Meanwhile, meanwhile, it is slowly, slowly revealed that the person that... Mr. wants to meet, it doesn't exactly want to meet him. And meanwhile, Toyoung, who thought no one cared about him, starts to find out that his grandma actually really cared about her. I mean, about him. And they start to find out hidden truths about their family and friends that they did not know even when they were alive. And at the end, at the end of 49 days, the, the Mr., the guy, he Let's go of his obsession over a girl, and yes, it was a girl that he wanted to marry. And he let go of his obsession, and he is at peace. And also, Toyoung, he kind of, he kind of, you know, he kind of says goodbye to his family and his friends, and he kind of, his friend is also regretting about how Toyoung died. He got, he actually like kind of borrowed a scooter from his friend, and he kind of crashed it, and he died. And his friend, who who had that scooter is very, very guilty about it. And he also kind of, kind of, you know, says, oh, it's not your fault. It's his fault that he was dumb and he liked, he liked going on the scooter, whatever. And all in all, he's done and there's peace. 
And at the end of 49 days, a person that is not the Kumiho appears. You know why the Kumiho Seho was drinking blood? He thought that if he had a thousand gulps of warm blood, he could become immortal. But the thing is, there is no such thing as immortality. When things are born, they are born with death, the end of their run, as sure as they are born with organs or eyes. No one isn't born without a due date. And Soho had reached that end. And I think that it's such a beautiful book that talks about immortality, obsession, um, human nature, and immortality. And also, that well, that part where Soho kind of wastes his life as a kumiho that he could have spent living when he when he's like just he could have done things things he liked rather than stalking the ways to the realm of the dead and taking gulps from people. And he wasted his entire life just trying to be immortal when it wouldn't even work. And my favorite quote about death is, Those who fear death cannot truly live. My favorite quote, that one of the quotes that I live by. And, well, you know, in the days when you can't sleep and you think, what happens after death? If you're Catholic, maybe you think there is heaven and earth. I mean, heaven and hell. But is there really heaven and earth? Your faith is shaky. And maybe there's nothing. Maybe maybe it's just forever sleep. You can't think. And that, if you're human, any human fears death. If you don't fear death, don't lie to me. You have thought about it at least once in your life. And at one time, maybe, at least, you did fear death. However, remember, if you keep fearing death every day, you can't really truly live, you can't take risks, you can't have fun. If you spend every time of your day thinking, oh, what happens if, if I die, um, you, you really can't see what it's like to live. And that is, I feel like, one of the main messages of Kumiyo Shikdang. And also, all another main message is that don't assume things in life. You might regret it when you die. Don't do things that you would regret. And just all in all, don't assume, and also don't obsess, and thirdly, don't fear death. Because it's inevitable, and it's gonna come anyway. So, why fear it when you can just enjoy life when it lasts? And all in all, if you're a Korean, definitely would recommend, if you can read Korean, definitely still would recommend. And I know this was a kind of, kind of I guess, buggy review. That's because I have to translate all the Korean information that I read through in my head into English, and that isn't, being a human Google translator isn't exactly fun. But, all in all, great book, great philosophy, reminded me of that one anime called Full Metal Alchemist. If you, if you watch that, you're an OG. And, all in all, great book, like always, your book quester, and book quester. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.